Hello and welcome back to another episode of XCOM 2 Long War of the Chosen. My name is Saiken and today we're continuing the Long War of the Chosen Legendary Iron Man playthrough where I'm trying to beat the game on the hardest difficulty or at least play as far as I want. Operation Hellborn is, uh, Hellborn Cavern is upon us. This is the starting the liberation chain for North America, which is important because we want to get the North American bonus and a liberated area would give us that sweet, sweet um, tower that we're looking for. Um, however, we detected it late, so even with a boost, we're only at 60% infiltration. 15 enemies is the result, but we got the prime uh, team. So the Grey Knights with us, Russ, um, Paul, uh, Dranks, all of them are available. And we put Toxic in here. Sam is still helping uh, them out. He's doing a fantastic job in doing that. And we got uh, the Invisible Strawman, um, aka Argument, with us. So let's launch the mission and kick some alien ass. Alright, landed. Oh, that is far away. We started on low ground isn't great either but at least we got On my way. some good concealment Paul moves up finds nothing Hostile targets in sight. okay that's a pack of four go, go. Russ moves up we'll find something yep Okay, old oh, chrysalid, okay. Sam joins him on high ground. Let's put you here. Invisible strawman argument over here where they can be in a support role. And we're moving to here with Jaranks so that we can engage the team upstairs. They're coming closer or not. Well, not really. Might be spotted out by the drone. Hmm. The drones are, of course, a bit of a problem. So, question of the day, that would be a bit, a bit too aggressive. That on the other hand would be a solid kill. Maybe even that, two, four, six, eight, chance for, uh, for, a straight up kill. Oh, pistol kill. Nice. But the other drone is over there. I trigger another pack by going in here. Definitely another drone. <coughs> but that was intended. Oh, close combat um, specialist came in clutch. Lovely. Nah, let's do that. Come on. I thought I was flanking this guy, but apparently I was not. Okay, I'll go. <coughs> Good, both of them are taken out. Let's 
that's one down and we might go on to overwatch shield bearer interesting we missed a shot <coughs> Yep, that could be a kill. <coughs> Moving up. Soul fire into finishing that shield bearer. Very nice. Toxic gets the kills. And the temporary hit points for doing so. Should also place a um, evac zone. <coughs> Haven't done that yet, which is always a mistake. Whenever I, I forget it, here. I regret it. This is firebrand. Evac request confirmed. Hold tight. Moves up, and finds another nice, very beefy pack. Right there. Locked and loaded. Let's start with the faceless. This time is a good time to use all of our cooldowns. Fifty-fifty on the chrysalid and really bad on that heavy lancer. Might as well go with that. Unfortunately not a success. I think cereal is a good idea. Two, four, six, eight, ten, twelve. Not a kill. Dead eye. Would we'll kill it. All right. That's one down. That's two down. Try to hit the Berserker <coughs> to the best of our abilities. Good. That was a rather atypical real life uh, disturbance during the turn. Let's see what we can do. We could force the Berserker not to move anywhere closer. Oh, that's not a bad idea. In the meantime, how about... Drank's getting the 8 protocol. And then Iron Curtain is a good idea. Heals some damage, slows him down by 50%. That still should be a kill. Thanks to the previous damage. And then 50-50 on this guy. Decent hit, decent hit. Uh, 
What I will say is we can control the stun lancer pretty, pretty easy by just making him stasis or stasising him by putting him into a nice little stasis. That's the right way of saying it. We're moving up. Good. I think we handled that pack relatively speaking well. With the exception of that late car explosion. Feeling uneasy? Stun Lancer starts to feel uneasy. He is now officially panicked. Which gives us the time to advance. I think the only other pack is down here. We're going to go. Free reload. Move up. Moving so. up. Uh, we're actually reloading. Sniper reloads. Still very much fond of the pack that might be down there. And Synapse also overwatches. That's the last pack. Nice hit. Oh, even the shotgun hits. Fantastic. 8-5 is doing a good job here. We've Tristan at first. Cool. How do you dare disorienting us? Okay then. <coughs> Fabulous. Much better. Chrysalid needs to die first. Target eliminated. Death from above into kill on the drone. Lovely. Sniper is hard. Back online. Awesome. Awesome. Getting the Berserker. Good, so the big bestial threats are off the table. Drangs goes wild. another pack. More chrysalids. Free reload so that when they come into shotgun range we're ready. Trying to get the sun answer. Very nice. <coughs> Trying to stun some of them. Well, the disorientation is good enough. They can't really move up anytime 
anytime soon. Insanity on this chrysalid would be great. Cool. It's panicked, which is good, very good. Berserker take some psi damage, and we're taking hit points in return. Toxic has a lot of hit points now. And we're overwatching. A little bit of damage. Oh, clever. I gotta give you that. That was indeed clever. Hits him, but does not kill him. I think we're just going to <coughs> make sure the birds of the dice. Coon definitely remains uh, to be a problem. That chrysalid is first taken out. The coon, like I said, remains to be a problem. This might get us into hacking range. It does. <coughs> that is good. But unfortunately we failed. Never mind. At least the mission is a uh, success. Dranks moves up. They won't last long. Good damage. Not exceptional, but good. Might use the time to just reload. Get ready for the next turns. A couple of chrysalids spawning. Part of me was hoping that the chrysalid immediately would trigger the shotgun skill. from the car which is let's be honest likely to explode at some point No point in taking shots. We can't get the cocoon down. I don't know, maybe long war change cocoons, who knows. Dealing a little bit of damage with our sniper.
Reinforcements are incoming. Another face this one, interesting. <clears throat> Hasn't shown its ugly face before. Overwatch. Um, we're moving in. I think we place the zone there. Which is not quite in range for for us, and of course we don't want him to stay behind. Come get some. Admin troop spotted. Hit. Negative damage. Firebrand, it's time to go. Ready to go. Okay, everybody can make it to the evac zone. That's the important news. As a matter of principle, the basis one needs to die. We don't like infiltrators. I'm out of here. I'm coming. Let's go. Getting out of here. Getting out of here. If I had to take a guess, we're potentially having at any point like half a, do a dozen of them <coughs> in our havens. So, killing a couple of them is not a bad idea, particularly. <coughs> Good. That mission went smooth. I like the bestial or the savage side trip because berserkers are fun for one. And I like chrysalids as well. I would like to loot a couple more chrysalid corpses because uh, that would give us um, a new increased ablative armor. Cool. What's also cool is we haven't received a promotion. That is less cool. Hmm. I'm starting to wonder if Psy operatives <clears throat> can take all of the abilities but then again who's our highest psi operative it's toxic right and he's barely at the rank of a <coughs> tech sergeant hmm. that's two more ranks and he does have good stats I think, I, I believe he can uh, get the other abilities as well. Elsewise, I would have potentially chosen a bit different. 
Well, let's hope that my theory is correct. It's not like they are bad soldiers by any stretch of the imagination, but they are going to be exceptionally good soldiers once you do have all of the abilities available, right? Like, that's the whole trick. Okay, got another mission ready. Is this a big or a smaller one? It's a smaller one, which means you are lucky because we are just going to do this mission. Blood Angels here. Trying to infiltrate the, uh, the mission. These are all Master Sergeants, so it's a bit of wasted experience. In the future, Blood Angels will take over running the Covert, act, uh, op, uh, covert Ops missions and only the remaining parts of the Blood Angels will work together with Psy Operatives. And we got an engineer, so that's important. Let's dive right into the mission. All right, landed. We have 18 rounds and quite a long distance to go. So Moving. let's use our scout aviator here, who now has the bunker buster. And scout out. All right, found the first pack. Interesting. Running. Moving forward. No need to ask twice. Good to go. Good. These guys are not triggering Overwatch, so any kind of Overwatch related shenanigans unfortunately wouldn't go very well. <coughs> These guys on the other hand do trigger Overwatch, and uh, might be an interesting start. This guy here in particular, Commando, Enemy patrol is a tough nut. Tough nut to crack. So what I will say is Let's get the sniper in position. Moving the designated coordinates. Plekable moves over here. I want an extra shot. So we're opening with that. Hit and run. Stupid evasion. Downgraded it to a non-crit. <clears throat> And these guys just slithered into safety. No one escapes. Cool. One down. Thousands to go, as, it, as they say. Okay, okay, so, hmm. We still got this guy over here. Kill him? No, not entirely, but almost. It's dead. It has to be dead. Good, we could block the Berserker, that should be a potential option. 
But where did the last viper slither to? So we got one here and I think one slithered right to there. Impossible for me to reach. But it can slither back up, that's the problem. And it does not trigger Overwatch. Mm -hmm. That could be one option after uh, we started with the Berserker. Good. We're blocking the Berserker, even though that means we are standing in the open. Down to one. The important part is that the Viper gets hit. It's disoriented, not great, but okay. Eight protocol, and then we're just finishing the Berserker. Well, for first interaction, quite a destructive, in, uh, quite a destructive one. Uh, half of the building is burning and is destroyed. Good. I don't like when things are running away from me. Therefore, we'll get you down. to get the loot yep that was worth it and I was willing to give up at least a little bit uh, of position but thanks to our repositioning ability we're okay by the way, we just moved, so we will get an Overwatch for free. And this here screams for a Bunker Buster. If there ever has ever been such a thing as a Bunker Buster situation, then that is that. Bust that bunker. <laughs> that is removing cover. Oh, yeah. crazy if you think about it just the amount of destruction that we're bringing to the table oh, 
<laughs> that was that used to be a building a couple of uh, rounds ago. Wow. Okay, we should start to move closer towards the actual target because I can already see reinforcements are co uh, going to come. Good to go. Thankfully, we can double move and overwatch. Implacable. I like the high ground. Yeah, we're going to get that next turn. On Overwatch. Watch order On Overwatch. No problem, boss. Of course, more Athen. <clears throat> um, let's take a shot. Nope. Let's take another shot. That's not bad. Like what I'm seeing. That's not my fault. That is not my fault. Excuse me. Lightning hands unfortunately missed, but this here should be a nice little roast. I don't want Implacable to stay at the front line. There's another mech and we can't really get it um, away from us. Not at this point. So moving out of grenade range. Loot unfortunately expired, but the rest is okay. We are retaliating against this guy. in and I think we're okay for now Aaron should be the one hacking Finally. Renman definitely needs to reload Reloading. Okay. Was that everything or did we miss another pack? That's at least one more pack, okay. 
<coughs> so we can't just ramble in there. We need to play it a little bit smart. Go, go, go. Is what he says before moving, viciously double moving into uh, the actual target proximity. Where is our extraction zone, by the way? It's back there, okay. Moves to here. Move moves already. to there. Renman moves it. over. Oh, and our sniper implacable is, as always, a little bit this, on the slower side. That's the worst case scenario. Luckily, we have a lot of tools to manipulate our position and so on. That includes extra movement. But so we have triggered them, but they are not really aware of our position on, except that they know Something is upstairs, right? Let's do this. Hmm. They are here. There is one. And there's the other. They also might be both down there. Yeah, not sure. What's over there? Both here, okay. Check it before you get too close. Okay, I'll go. Unfortunately, the others were just civilians. Yep, three civilians. Well done, Saiken. You murdered them. Yep, not proud. Attempting infiltration. Intel or Superior PCS? I think we're going for the Superior PCS. Wouldn't have been a success on either of them. Hello there, peekaboo. I await their approach. I'm going. Scanning. Come get some. Good. Well, I've got eyes on an advent position. They're already triggered. Come on, focus. I definitely got that one. Moving towards the exit. A 
little quick hands and that. Alright, everybody begins to move out. One, two, three, four, five. Cool. Tougher mission than expected and more fun mission than expected. The bunker buster was my highlight. It just blew the entire front of the house away. Good. Very good. Technicians are just incredible. Um, I mean, grenadiers aren't bad either, but I used to uh, say that Grenadiers are just rocking and, and are better in cover removal than Technicians, but since they upgraded fire so heavily... Just one sec. Yeah, let me want that. Since they upgraded the burning so, so heavily, and now really becomes quite evident that your um, becomes quite evident that the flamethrower is good. It's really, really good. The uh, additional rockets on top of it just make it even better. I think this is the right way to go. Just reducing it. We don't really need the shielded power coil at this point in time. And having eight engineers is good. Finally, we're getting new missions. Uh, this here is not a great mission for PsyOps. Barrier is would be preventing any meaningful interaction. But I wonder... If you guys are available, <clears throat> and then just putting one psi operative in, seems like a really uh, decent idea to me. One sec. Okay. Good enough, we can definitely infiltrate that. The Ultramarines plus Toxic, well, that seems like a good team for the mission. Easy enough. And we're going finally uh, going to get uh, additional missions because we freed them up. What I would want to do is level up the PsyOps a little bit further. Ductile Noxus is now available for recruitment. Uh, that means we get another recruit. Ductile Average Aim this time, good hit points. Not bad on the Psy department. I'll think about it. Might be a good technician. Yeah, we could put Dark Tower Noxus in here. Dang it. Really disappointed uh, with not being able to uh, to train the Psy operatives. OK, 
Okay, double checking. Did I forget anything? The answer is no, which means this haven here doesn't do intel. It does recruitment. And I think we're making contact to the next region. For sector six, Eastern Europe. Attempting to establish local regional contacts. Look at that. Reduce enemy strength and since we can ambush them, we Berserk a queen. Ooh. Ooh. Force for East Asia. Oh, that's a good one. Berserker Queen on this mission, eh? Let me find the squad. Okay, easy peasy. We're going to take on that Queen. Not seeing any big problem there. I also decided to leave most of uh, the master sergeants at home now, or put them as haven advisors in. Uh, soon we would get uh, the next covert action, so we're fine. And then we anyways need the master sergeants. For the uh, for scouting out the lair of the chosen. Find a lead. Oh, that's not bad. I like it. Setting course for South Africa. Let's see whom we're going to take onto this mission. Hmm. So, as you can see for the Blood Angels, for instance, right, we have all of the Master Sergeants that are not on a mission. For the Grey Knights, um, we do have a Haven Advisor here, Master Sergeant, and uh, Sam is just essentially ready. Uh, we're going to do the same here, where Mike, uh, Sonar, and Scythe will uh, do the missions together with uh, Psy Operatives. Um, and sparks and for this mission I think we're just going to take the Imperial Fists yep looks good I just need to go through some of the weapons sniper for instance so one second all right so let's go back to making contact Eastern US. Okay, we got a facility here and here and here. Interesting. Enemy material? Yeah, sure. I'm going to do all of the missions that we can because that'll give us all of the experience. Uh, 27 hours. Let's use the iron hands in this case. another psi operative somewhere another squad where which we don't want to in uh, intervene with now we can uh, do that I just need to upgrade some of the weapons okay weapons are upgraded it's a little bit like scraping together the remains on the bottom of the barrel Mech weapons are okay at this point. Laser weapon for damage dealers, mm. just not enough oomph. Uh, Grey Knights will do this mission next, so 
Uh, that'll bring us solidly to the end of this episode because I want the Grey Knights to get as much salvage in terms of um, corpses as well as I can get. We're making good progress, guys. I mean, this will be the next one. Uh, where, uh, where we then finally have all of Asia under our control. And we're not that far away. Okay, that is a bit more expensive. That is a bit more expensive. That is a bit more expensive, yeah. So the regions that we haven't gotten yet are the ones where Advent hides their facilities, but we're going to get that, don't you worry. Um, I look up how to deal with the Psy operatives because I don't like that whole idea of not being able to train all of the abilities. I'll figure it out. Anyways, um, in the meantime, thanks a lot. Have a good one and see you later. Bye bye.